few weeks ago, it was clear that China and the United States were on a collision course on issue after issue. Suddenly, the two have, have uh, the attitude has changed, and there's a much, a much uh, greater feeling that we can work together on things. One of the contributing factors to that was a decision of, of Republican and Democratic leaders to travel together to Beijing uh, to meet with the Communist Party leaders. The East West Institute organized that visit, and we found the discussions over those days were, were particularly insightful in the sense of our not so much listening to positions, but really getting behind and listening to what underlines those positions. Why, what are the perceptions? Why does China or why does the United States feel X or Y? Why do we feel, for example, that, that uh, on nonproliferation issues, the biggest threat is Iran? Certainly that's the view in the West. That's not the view in, in China. Their view is that, that Iran is a, is a problem, the proliferation of weapons in Iran, but that they rank it third behind the issue of North Korea and the issue of, of India and Pakistan. Uh, that took the West, Western participants a little bit by surprise. Why, how could you possibly rank Iran third? They had a logic to it, and, and, a, and a sophisticated logic about why the others were more dangerous, which was very interesting. And unless we can understand each other like that, uh, when we talked about what were the highest priorities for the two sides internationally, of course China had issue after issue which had to deal with potential instability and difficulties in Asia. Um, shouldn't be surprising to us, but if you, but if you look at our newspapers and our policy makers' uh, top, top uh, concerns, um, there's not a direct match. That's not surprising, but it's important to understand that when we push to have an action here or they push to have an action over there, um, that we're, co we're coming from very different places. And this was a, a really refreshing opportunity to, to really listen. Now that we're here this week in Washington with the 45 heads of state at the President Obama's nuclear summit, uh, this is a real opportunity to, with China, with other critical countries, to, to actually move to a very different place. It all starts with listening and understanding what's behind the positions and all, and then finding ways to work together. I'm confident that, that just the turnaround in U.S.-China relations of the last several weeks uh, is an example of, of what can be done.